What's up everybody? It's your girl Letta Jean and I'm here for another DIY. I created this nice little bedside tray using items I found at Dollar Tree. So I'm going to show you what I did and let's get started. so what we have here is just a plain frame from the Dollar Tree um, I like the little gold frame around it so that's what I chose but they have a variety of options what I did on the inside I used the dry erase contact paper you can find that at Dollar Tree too but um, I've noticed they have it at big, big lots as well so I took the back side and I removed the, the stand and the little break brackets around the sides of the frame so right here I have the dry erase on the frame I just wrapped it around the glass that comes with each picture frame make sure it's nice and smooth so you don't have any bubbles in it and right now I'm going to flip it over and we're going to work on the back side um, so what I use is um, the tumbling tower blocks from Dollar Tree they come with 36 in a box for this project I believe I use about one and a half boxes to complete the entire project and when I first saw these I thought the box was like huge but it fits in the palm of my hand some stores they have like a 72 count for a dollar so if you can find those, go ahead and grab that. But I definitely used about one and a half boxes for this. So I wanted to add a base to the bottom of my tray using three of each block. I decided to go with an alternating pattern for each corner. Um, it depends on what kind of box of blocks you can find because some of the tumbling tower blocks they just have a solid light brown wood not all of them come with the brown pieces in there um, I have figured out a way to stain the wood using coffee if you want I can make a DIY on that one just let me know in the comments if you want to see that um, so right here I'm just alternating the frame trying to figure out how I, I want my base to look all right so I have my pattern out the way that I want it and I'm going to be using e6000 glue to bind everything together you can definitely use any kind of wood glue this is not the end all be all I just wanted to try it because I saw other people using it in other DIYs so right here I'm just taking each piece gluing them together and then we're going to adhere them to the frame doesn't take a lot so I'm going to do this one now and then I'm going to speed it up and move forward for the sake of time <laughs> that you don't use too much so that you don't have the excess um, kind of oozing out on the sides of the blocks because that's more mess for you to clean up um, just use enough but not too much for the base and we have everything glued give it a little time to dry and we're gonna go ahead and flip it over and work on the main side of the tray so this is the frame design that I decided to go along with I haven't seen this style on any DIYs or anything like that so I was completely trying something new um, I decided on like a domino effect 
so it's like different colors and as you can see some of them are kind of tan and some are light but that's that coffee stain I was telling you about so once you have your pattern out you can go ahead and start gluing everything to the frame and I'm going to show this side um, right here and then after that I'm just going to speed through it because why do you need to watch me put down like 60 blocks and glue them on this frame, okay? DIY. I hope you all enjoyed it. Of course, there will be many more to come. Stay tuned. Also, like and subscribe. Thank you again for watching Letta Jean Speaks.